Welcome back to my channel Bike and Buy World. Today I'll be discussing TAC polymerase, which is a common enzyme, a polymerase which is usually used in our molecular biology laboratories. And uh, TAC polymerase, TAC as a T comes from thermus, AQ comes from aquaticus. This is a bacteria. Thermus aquaticus, named Thermus aquaticus, which is usually found in the, we can say, uh, environment where there is high temperature. Okay. Tac Thermus aquaticus bacterium, which can tolerate, which can survive in an environment which is having high temperature. Okay. And, and basically, this polymerase, uh, we can say TAC polymerase, DNA polymerase is usually used in a technique which is termed as PCR polymerase chain reaction in which it functions, it what it extends the DNA fragment which I want to amplify. Okay. And basically, the function of TAC polymerase, it is equals to DNA polymerase 1 of prokaryotes. Okay, what happens? I set up a reaction of a PCR. I want to amplify a target DNA. This is a target DNA. I add the, uh, the pre-request of a PCR reaction. I add DNTPs, I add buffer, I add TAC polymerase, a DNA polymerase. It re usually requires a primer. Primer is a necessity for the TAC polymerase to work. It adds nucleotides at the three available three dash end of a primer. Okay, this is a primer. Okay, in red, and this is a three dash position. In extension step of PCR reaction, it what happens? It extends these three. Uh, it extends this primer by adding nucleotides at the three dash end of it that is it extends it leads to the formation of the five dash to three dash direction dna fragment which is complementary to the template of my target sequence okay so some of the functions or uh, some of the characteristics of it usually it can sustain or we can say it can survive a high temperature usually if somebody has performed PCR reaction that is polymerase chain reaction in their research work they uh, they might be familiar that we usually uh, in this reaction the temperature is 72 72 98 for denaturation and all that okay the temperature is high so this TAC polymerase can survive can sustain can work at a high temperature that is why we use TAC polymerase in PCR reactions the next point is optimum temperature the optimum temperature of this TAC polymerase is 72 to 75 degrees Celsius okay the optimum temperature is 72 to 75 degrees Celsius that's why in PCR reaction the extension step which I used to do is I usually kept at 72 degrees Celsius okay the, this TAC polymerase has three activities Okay, the which I have shown in the slide that is 5 dash to 3 dash DNA polymerase activity. Okay, which we we tend to exploit in the PCR reaction. 5 dash to 3 dash exonuclease activity. Okay, and 3 dash to 5 dash proofreading activity that is 3 dash to 5 dash exonuclease activity. Okay, this that was all about TAC polymerase and enzyme a polymerase which we usually use in our PCR reactions. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please like, subscribe and share.